Well, three first responders from the Boston bombing are in southeast Texas tonight, sharing their story of treating men, women, and children injured in the Marathon terrorist attack. They're here preparing for the annual Salute to Real American Heroes dinner presented by Lamar Institute of Technology. Fox Force Ashley Gaston reports one of them helped not only victims, but the surviving attacker. That's our top story. These first responders from Boston didn't dress the part Wednesday for their tour of Baptist Beaumont Hospital. But it's hard to separate themselves from the role they played after the terrorist attack. It's a little overwhelming sometimes. Um, people here in the last couple of days have been really, really kind to us and, and uh, very generous. Can you just go out to the triage area? Raymond Dupuy is a police captain. Joe O'Hare and Rich Raymond are paramedics. This hospital setting in Beaumont is familiar territory to the men from Boston. A bullet came through the windshield of the Ford Expedition. He felt the glass you know, fragments in his face. An officer has been shot. Dupuy and his men were on the front lines trying to capture the two brothers. Oh my God, they're dead. Accused of the Boston Marathon bombing. And then they started throwing out bombs. They threw a total of five bombs at uh, my offices. These three first responders separated their personal feelings from their professional responsibilities when they found the surviving brother hiding from police in a boat behind a home in Watertown near Boston. The police officers had taken him off the boat, had cleared him of explosive devices, which was a very big concern for everybody there because of the, you know, the history of what had gone on both on Marathon Monday and then also, you know, on the night before when they were throwing bombs out the window. O'Hare was the first paramedic to treat Johar Sarnayev for his injuries. On that night in Watertown, um, we treated that patient, the suspect, as we would treat any patient. O'Hare says he was relieved the suspect was still alive, so he might face trial. The people of Watertown applauded the capture. They don't usually clap for the police department, so um, all of us were really um, touched by it, and um, nobody could believe it. I mean, I think everybody left there, and their crews just slow just to absorb it in, because it's not too often you see the whole town and you know people from out of town come in and clap for the police department. So it was, um, it was nice to be the good guy once. Yeah. Uh, recognized for their roles from Boston to Beaumont. Ashley Gaston, Fox 4 News. The Lamar Institute of Technology will honor the first responders Thursday at the annual Salute to Real American Heroes.